Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting transfer dates. We start with this, um, this Fulham midfielder, Jao Palinha, as it has been reported that Barca midfield target Palinha is valued now at £90 million by the Premier League club. According to English sources, we are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Clement Langlet, as it has been reported that Barca are very optimistic about pocketing 10 million euro from the sale of Clement Langlet, as negotiations are still ongoing with Tottenham Hotspur. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the stories in much detail, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, endeavor to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever i post a new video consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end with barcelona running out of targets for the midfield pivot positions reports had indicated that they have identified fulham and portugal ace jao palinha as a possible option the options of joshua kimmich and martin zubimendi are practically off the table due to economics involved now Another priority target, Marcelo Brozovic, appears to be heading to Saudi Arabia giants Al Nash. Amidst all this, Paulinha has been identified as a potential alternative by the La Liga champions Barcelona, with incoming sporting director Deco said to be a huge admirer of the Portuguese international. However, according to a report from Daily Mail, Fulham will only consider selling Paulinha this summer if they receive an offer of around £90 million, putting him out of Barcelona's reach for good. Paulinha signed for Fulham only last year, arriving from Sporting CP in the deal worth £15 million. The 27-year-old had a top debut season in the Premier League, finishing with three goals from 35 appearances, while also making the most number of tackles in the competition. The report states that Deco has personally batted, batted for the signing of Palinha, who is also a target for West Ham United, as a possible replacement for Declan Rice. The Portuguese international is liked by the La Liga champions for his ability to break up attacks and his quality on the ball. However, a move appears unlikely due to the massive 90 million euro um, valuation. Palinha still has four years on his contract with Fulham with an option for another 12 months. So it puts the cottages in the driving seat as far as negotiations are concerned. So, despite Deco being an admirer, the 27-year-old moving to Barcelona in the summer looks like a very, very distant possibility. Instead, fellow Portuguese Fiorentino Luis could be a more affordable option with SL Benfica understood to be seeking around 30 million euros for him. Of course, Barca's search for a new midfielder continues to make headlines everywhere. Jao Palinha, this is not the first time we've been talking about him. He has been one of the targets of Barca, even though lately Barca have not been showing a lot of attention, but they keep an eye on him as new sporting director Deco is reportedly a huge admirer. And now getting this report of Fulham placing 90 million euros on his head is quite crazy, honestly. And that's just indirectly telling other suitors that back off. This guy is not for sale. We still want to keep him. Of course, Barcelona keep an eye on the player for a long time and they want him to replace Busquets. Palinha is just 27 years old, which means he still has considerable period of time to play football. And of course, honestly, when we listen to the price of 90 million, you don't expect Barca to approach and make any deal. Because honestly, that's just an indirect way to say Barca back off. Palinha is a top, top class midfielder. We have seen the likes of his performances this past season in the Premier League. Not just Barca, there are other top clubs around Europe that have been showing interest in Palinha. Of course, he's a Portuguese and he has a lot of talents. Barcelona are still very, very frustrated about the fact that their search for a new DM has been very, very um, stressful. Let me put it that way. 
after Joshua Kimmich and Martin Zubimendi's pursuit failed, all because of um, uncontrollable reasons like the finances and also the fact that the player and their clubs don't even want to negotiate. You know, there was no chance whatsoever for Barca to move to any of those two top targets. Then come players like Sofian Amrabat from Fiorentina, another deal that many people hope that it might go through after Javi failed to bring his top targets. But unfortunately, that deal have collapsed completely as, you know, the, the, the Moroccan have decided to go to Atletico as they have also shown interest in him as Barca have been slack in their negotiations. And now talking about players like Marcelo Brozovic who have been linked in the past couple of days have been all about Marcelo Brozovic everywhere. Barcelona from the look of things still look doomed in that regard as the player is heading to Al Nash in Saudi Arabia which have led the Catalan club feeling somehow frustrated about their pursuit for a new midfielder to replace Busquets as it haven't yielded any fruits despite links with multiple players in that position. Now getting Jao Palinha as it has been reported that 90 million euros is a price then we don't expect Barca to make any serious move for the player as it stands. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, the Barcelona management is working so hard to close all the potential sales as soon as they can, especially for those who, are on, who were on loan last season. In this regard, Clement Langlet seems to be one of those players that are on top of Barca's agenda. The Frenchman who spent last season on loan at Tottenham Hotspur in the Premier League played 35 matches for them last season in all competitions. Given the fact that Lenglet does not have a place in Barca's squad, a return to Premier League is highly anticipated. With Tottenham working on resigning the player, Barca's intention now is to inject financial stability from his transfer and if a report from Sport is to be believed, Barca hopes that the move generates around 10 million euros for the fee. Tottenham understands that Barca are in desperate need to offload members of their roster and so to it, Lenglet's current statue at the club is an added motivation for the London club to lower the transfer fee. It is believed that Barca's first demanded 15 million for Clement Lenglet, but the counter offer from Tottenham was just 5 million euros. Right now, the board of Barca led by Juan Laporta is feeling very optimistic about the fact that a deal can be worked for around 10 million euros. For the moment, nothing related to Langlade is concrete, apart from the fact that Barca will indeed sell him. Barca spends in excess of 35 million euros to sign Langlade from Sevilla. Back in 2018, considering his high wages, Barca are intent on getting rid of the Frenchman as soon as possible as they wish to reduce their salary mass. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Yeah.